But as you guys know, El Barrio. Appreciate you, big dog. Hey, you had your chance. But well, we eating shark tonight, baby. Let's go. <laughs> We're eating shark. We're eating shark. All right, guys. It is finally time to do the weekly and weekly. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. I just woke up. So it's time to do the weekly nightmare, and they're trying to bait you here. Like, just just be careful. Be careful. But uh, the rewards are pretty good for it, right? So this, I don't know if this is just for this first weekly challenge, right? So you're going to get to win a 4.5 star weekly adventure to unlock Terra Portal, right? You're going to get a platinum vault for that. And then actually beating the challenge itself, you're going to get a gold vault, which I, I don't know if they'll do that every week. That's a lot of resources i mean oh my god a company being nice to you uh you can see here that it says each round the fir player's first targon card costs one less so i'm like oh okay so we can go like yumi we can go morgana we can have some fun and then i read on <laughs> and then it says rock too hard deal one to all of the players units right so now i'm thinking tom kench right and then they decided to be absolute a-holes and do the deadly thing. This is from Swain's adventure. When the foe summons a unit, granted uh, stats equal to half its stats, round it up. The foe's spells and skills deal double damage, right? I'm, I'm not mistaken, that is from Swain's adventure. So they got a hosh mosh here. They, I think, they, again, I think that they said that it's going to be random. Like, it's going to be random. So, like, this is just a weird thing. So, if you want to use... I want to use Yumi, because I think it'd just be funny. But, obviously, with this, if you have Tom, it would be... Your units will scale like crazy. Like, the, Tom would be so freaking sick to do this. So, I, I'm going to give Tom his just desserts here. And since we just figured out the best Tom build in the building. Also, I wanted to say this real quick, because it's going to probably take me about 40 minutes. Is that, and at the end of the video, we'll pop this gold record away, and then we'll see. So, please put your bets in the comment section. What are we going to get? I want to see it. And as far as the build for Tom, I still feel like this is the best one. Grand General's counter plan, the Berserker's buckler. And then we have Chosen by the Stars to make him strong. He'll have Overwhelm, Regen, which is what he really needs, and Challenger. So just super phenomenal. Like I said, I think that Chosen by the Stars and this alone is crazy. And then he's eaten. Oh, it's, it's going to be Chef's Kiss. There's no way we lose until we lose. So like, comment, subscribe if this is your first time. Welcome. I, I, I'm supposed to start with that, right? Welcome to Jinx Did Nothing Wrong. Or if it's your first uh, time. Oh, sorry. That's, <laughs> I, I just woke up. I did, Please. Welcome or welcome back. That's how you're supposed to say it. Welcome or welcome back. I'm just come here, get in my stomach, you fish. Run! Start to Yes. So it's pretty much like a thing from the monthlies, right? Whenever you see something that says you're gonna hit my units every turn or, or, or frequently, your first everyone's first initial thought is always going to be Tom Kench. It's just like I'm I wouldn't be surprised if everyone does that same thing. Allies have overwhelmed. That's actually pretty good because our other allies will scale really hard. So even like this green gray lookout, they'll have a green gray lookout that's just going to get stronger. But I don't feel like I don't need that. I think overwhelm and all my units getting stronger is crazy. And then we're going to fight against the mana. So is this literally the Swain adventure? But instead of Swain at the end, because Jin is in the middle. And then at the end is... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I may have just woken up, but I, I know bullshit when I see it. So instead of the man of souls, uh, sorry, it's the, no, what is it? The uh, Trifarian something is the first fight, but instead it's the man of souls student, which is usually the second fight, right? Golly, bro. That content. <laughs> Woo! I wonder if they'll have the balls to, uh, I don't need two lousing lizards. I wonder if they have the balls to... Do another Lissandra run. Because, like, a Lissandra is just absolutely hated, right? People just just hate, hate, hate Lissandra. Like, it's not even a secret, right? There it is. Oh, my God. He would have got torn up. And then they got this super thing. I wonder if we're going to always get the attack token, too. So, no City Breaker tech here. Fortunately, this thing is too big, so we'll just sit back. I don't, I don't, there's no rush in my soul. No rush in my blood, man. We will get strong enough. Tell me about mage side again. So, are there these extra colors all around us? 
Uh, that's annoying. Um, but he has no way to trigger it this turn, so we're just gonna get our homeboy Slim in there. Very interesting. Um, technically, I can trigger this every two seconds, but not really pivotal to my main strategy here. Do I take the damage? I think weakening one of them is not that bad. We need to keep this because it's just extra mana per round. Killing them, this is a little bit different than the City Breakers because we can just like really cut them off, right? Tom's gonna grow like really big. Now it's all his thing, so I'm gonna still play it safe here. And we're gonna just sneak attack him. Exactly. Pretty sure he has a lot of weird things. Kills my unit straight out, right? Which is gonna be more prompted now that I'm a little bit used to what he's actually wheeling and dealing with. So, yeah, he's just gonna be... This is like what I hate about like AI sometimes, that it's just gonna be like suicide. He's just gonna... Basically... Ah, it's, it's really dangerous to eat them, actually. It might be better... Like, this card does way too much damage. Might be better, we can just try to eat. Okay, whew! He's out of mana too. But what is he gonna do? He's gonna immediately attack right after this. He chooses not to attack. Um, we also get the same unit, right? So I want to so badly. So if he's not gonna attack with the other thing, so we should be, that means I, I could still eat this, right? Because he should still be discouraged to attack because I still had two units out in the field. So he does. Okay. Luckily, that part triggers before his own passive. Well, he only does two damage, so he would have survived anyway. All right. So in the encouragement of actually getting out of the fight. So... I feel as though he's going to try to kill this unit with some type of spell. He actually can't play Tie Bulk here. So I think it's encouraged that we allow him to do that. Let us reconnoiter. Oh my god, he passed back. Why? Why did he pass back there? I don't understand the AI behind that. that. That's a little weird. All right, we'll use uh, the fake hench. Oh, reset his stats a little bit. That doesn't even kill me with it. Okay. We're gonna get a lot of units here. Oh, units back anyway. Is it because of this? I mean, like, that does suck. Maybe I should have just went for game. That would be my, my oops mistake, I guess. I should have just went for game. I guess, I guess I just get screwed, right? Cause that, that forces me to use that. We'll block these guys. And I'm still, that's lethal now. So I actually screwed myself by not open attacking and forcing him to use stuff and on, on, on initially and I allowed him to put this out now all his things do way more damage that is very interesting wow i'm i just not used to i was trying to manipulate the ai in my favor there obviously because i completely negate that attack like wow i i and i also understand that there's a like i give up kind of thing that the AI does. 
So Tom being as big as he was, they could have just said, screw it, we're not doing anything. Call the homies. I'm still pissed. If you're not pissed, I don't know who you are. And if we were running the Jace battery, boom, we would have leveled up, got three uh, mana back here. And as you can see, the plays would have been amazing. Eat this unit, get it out of the way. You already let me in. Yeah, screw this guy. That was like barely like a loss, but it was a loss due to, oh my God. And watch, I'm gonna get caught by something else and lose the run. Scar Grounds is nice, oh, and then it, <laughs> Scar Grounds is nice, let's put an explosive on it, right? Um, and then this is pretty ass. When they changed the Shadow Totem thing, right? So now it's play, summon, whatever. It'd be nice if also plate effects happened twice. That'd be pretty interesting. These are all really bad. So I really have to reroll here. Stuff with regen, I do like. And I also like stuff with lifesteal because then I could eat it or, or let it eat something else and then scale it. But it's just such a high mana cost. And it also has regen as well. So in comparison, these two cards are pretty good. I think we just take that. It's a little heavy of a card, but maybe within the shops we can get it cheaper. I think we just go Echo. Because the prediction will help us out a little bit. And uh, what is this? Oh no, that's just my regen, I guess. The four. I don't know. It's weird. All right, so Rock Hopper. Okay, so they changed the fights. The fights are definitely different in the middle. So I was talking too much shit. So Rock Hopper usually is a pain in the ass too. But at least they don't have the spells to punish me like that. So I think it should be fine. You can bounce these back. I could probably even bounce Echo. Probably bounce Echo as well. Decent hand. So I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so they just made it that this gives like plus two now. Every time that it's summoned and then when it gets destroyed... When I'm summoning or destroyed, so it, they're, the unit they, they have are gonna scale up like crazy. So, yeah, then another one came out. It says Grant's strongest, though, so what did you get boosted up by? Um, so he could pull me next turn, and he's gonna pull me to do this anyway, so. I guess I'm just screwed. So very similar to the Rock Hopper fight is that you're pretty much trying your best to kill their initial unit and then it's just Rock Hopper again. Yeah, 27 damage here on the field. But then when I play this, Twenty-one damage, and then I lose. There it is, because he has another unit, and then he just pulls it off to the side. What the hell? That's weird. Hold on, I'll I'll, I'll go back to that fight. Right? Do I need? I don't know if I need the. I think I do need the. I think I need this exact build. So I'm just gonna try it again, because I just got caught off guard in that first fight. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so it's really random, dude. It's just legitimately random. It, it, they, they just said, screw it. We don't care. What in the absolute hell? That's crazy for us. But I, I, I just wanted to showcase that, like, the fights are just random. Wow. It is, like, true RNG. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Wow. I'm still skipping the first two fights. <laughs> so I would have to say that that's one of the easier fights, specifically for Tom. Well, actually, no, specifically for me having the Frostbite ability, right? So just really, really, <laughs> really, 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 really easy. I actually like something that just comes in straight into the hand. I can just use it immediately. I don't think anything else is really going to be good. This just seems good if I can get more draw going so we can have some big Alpha Cat dude. But I don't want to waste a reroll here. And I just want to show you guys the support champion. Yeah, random. Holy... And they pretty much took the, the base of this. So they took this thing. They gave it a lot of the Swain stuff. So they're kind of like, in my personal opinion, just like shooting in the dark. It's, just, it's truly random. Jinx with mana deposit seems great. Teemo rally. Because um, we can have multiple 
Teemo's out there. I could do a lot with Jinx though, with the with the thing, with her coming back into my hand and stuff like that. So I think I like the Jinx package a little bit better. So it's, it's truly random. So like what it is, is that like they took these basic fights and they made them like crazy, like super crazy. Now let's go to a shop. I'm gonna skip this fight because I'll, I'll definitely win it. But like the, I'm gonna, we're gonna, I need to see if the shop has um, powers. I'm assuming it does because it's like I said, it's just a Swain fight plastered uh, over again so it should have the the shop should be regular but just so you guys can see so like it's very similar to I probably should have re-rolled maybe one of these items but it's very similar to the thing so they're gonna have the staunch defender which is the Legion Marauder most likely boom and they, they already have this fight pretty much choreographed right it's, it's super weird and it seems like they still have the programming of that you get the first attack unless I guess you go to a red and that's kind of how it is so very very weird but like I said, the frostbite allowing us to probably easily eat a bunch of units here over time. So not that hard for us, but he should attack with that too, but he doesn't know any better. So yeah, I'll skip this fight. It's going to be super easy. I'm going to just get Kench out on the... Wait, oh, I didn't read the fine print. All right, so I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to talk at the same time. But yeah, the highest one is going to... I'm just going to keep eating the one with the highest attack yet yeah, pretty basic pretty basic stuff here so I'll see you guys after this fight all right now that we're not playing around anymore this is extremely easy but that one fight just to me so there's just fights especially because the mana soul student is like part of the other fight transfusing copying twice is nuts for us so we'll definitely take that and let's just see how this shop works so we're back on schedule now it's a mystery fight I was <laughs> Jesus so this we have oh jace jace is in the building so we can still buy powers and that's an amazing power at that um so yeah we're fine now i, I just this summoning units oh that's fantastic we'll buy a bunch of those down to the bone we're broke again it's fine and then we have tribal would you fuck oh boy and it's purple for some reason i don't know what that even means i think we'll be able to still afford one tick of it actually having both jinxes in the hand is phenomenal that means i'll definitely get kench because there's only two jinxes in the deck so we get kench i'm assuming they're gonna slap whatever the title wait so they they forgot to tap the <laughs> attach the uh staunch defender on fortunately he is too strong so these these misrays are gonna get crazy Let me guess, Miss Wraith, but he can't do anything much with it. And he's going to get frozen. So for the strongest one that they put out is going to be this. Also, when I regurgitate the Jinx, it's going to be... Um, I mean, I could just use this, right? Pretty good. Seven damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty damn good. Probably open attack here. Drain six. I don't know if this will be fine enough. Oh, she only took one damage. Oh, that was bad. They did get you. I didn't know that they had Drain 6. Go with the Rally then. We'll play Kench next turn. Again, I, I, I also mean I should have kept it. He's, uh, he's about to drop like a bunch of Mist Race though. His Mist Race turn is going to be crazy, but we will just block everything. No problem at all. Yeah, we just we just block. It's fine. If anything, we. Oh no, you have. Oh my God, you have a terrible freaking power. Unless I did this and then they didn't block and then I could do that. Uh, sure, why not? There's a very awkward attack there. Let's get my boy started.
Got him with his stats. We eat that very easily. Open attack here is really hard for him to deal with. It's lethal. He has. A, he needs vengeance. Can't vengeance anymore unless it has like a, a item on it. Smart move. Smart move. Okay, so it hurts me enough with the heal. Just trying to be quick with it. That's the spot. That's the petty. That's the petty. The petty eat, real quick. You know, let them know I'm not playing with them. You know, it just. I don't even need wait discard. Yeah, get get this stupid thing out of my hand. I got my soldiers to get you, bro. My soldiers come get you. That's right. So if you're dealing with some bad RNG on the first, just keep going at it. I guess it doesn't really like as these fights like this. These, this round has been much easier because this is like I said, this is a Swain adventure. Having them with uh, the ravenous flocks and stuff like that is crazy. But if you fight something that's not Noxus, like it's like oh, well, who cares? Um, <laughs> This is I think it would transform and then lose the focusing crystal. I don't know how that would exactly work I, I just like to eat something with a tune that to me seems better and Then uh, do we have enough to buy a little bit of it? Yes, so we can get one temporary gem Can't get two. it sucks. I don't know what the difference of making it purple does but and then we get a shop and now I know I can't afford anything But we could have got a power counterfeit copies not the best and I wouldn't want to waste rerolls on it anyway here That's cheap and good Desert Duel is kind of good, and it has a predict attached to it. But I want to start saving my money. Go here, cut cards. Probably the Zonai Urken, even though it just ended that battle for us. Uh, it just it's um, the whole play attack thing. I feel like it's just gonna throw itself into the ether, and we don't have everywhere buffs. I usually take this guy out. Actually, I'd rather take this guy out first. This is still a, a one mana draw one with a possible upside to trigger plunder so yeah now we get to go against Jin. so Jin is starting out like again very like it's <laughs> it's still copying pasta from the uh okay we can start off with this now that's great as long as he doesn't like blow me out of the water right i forgot here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Don't want to give him extra stats for no reason. Not stats, but help him level. So he's still going to get frozen. Persuading him not to attack with him. So. We get shot here. That's fine. Um, I think he'll still attack here. He is out of mana though. Tell me where to aim. So my Lois, Tom's gonna get stunned. No, the Nibu. So we can still attack. This is a perfectly fine attack with us. Block the highest damage. He literally could have still attacked with him, but he, I guess he would have died. To be fair. Um. Might as well get Krusty out there. More units to the trigger. Okay. Um, we have two eatings. Let us take this. He always stuns my weakest, so I'm not like terribly worried about it. That is fine. My work deserves recognition, Jin. Do not disappoint me. Acknowledgement of your art is long overdue. Can I get that to eight? It has to be strong with less power than me, yep. So we could do... I 
copies. That should theoretically fizzle out. Because he has the same attack. It does. We eat. The goal here is just to kill him, obviously. We're gonna spend that mana again. Surprised he didn't stop Kench, but um. That's fine with me. He'll have to play four mana, waste four mana here on the beginning here. I'm about that. I forgot he's he's too weak. Yone. The if I need more blockers here, the smart thing here would be to capture him. We'll get a, a guy right back. I think I ate two of my own units, so. Easy clap. You thought you had the Kench on the bench? No. Got my hitters with me. Yeah, all we did was eat your people. I mean, eat my people and one of your people. So now I have blockers. Take the weakest one out the group. He's the weakest of the bunch. You know him well. He's fine. And I could have killed him with this. He's finally back to kick some tail. Yummy. Mad weak. You weak. You weak. And that's GG. We're going to get full heal out of here so we don't need to do anything crazy. Come in with the the Hama. Way too strong here. And then there it is. She's always... You know what? Why would I ever remove that card from my deck, honestly? When you really think about it. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Scumbaggery. Again, this deck is not... Like, this one is actually built for the adventure, but... It is what it is. Alright, so... When I'm summoned, give me Barrier. That's relatively useful. Especially if I can eat one on the turn that I summon him, so I don't have to worry about the size of the unit. I don't know if AI can play around that. And then we have when I'm so, when Alex survives, there's even more stats. Stats are really important right now, so I kind of like that. Um, so they don't even have the red fight here, so they just took that out. This is the OG, I guess. Uh, so we have this. When they attack, I lose thing, and they have a bunch of fearsomes. We have the gold chest first. This we're definitely gonna go first. This. And yeah, we're gonna hopefully just eat that man up. Also, let's have a quick discussion before, you know what, let me do it in the fight because I know some people just watch the fights. Let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about this? Does it, does it seem like it's a little weird? Like, cause it is like, they're like, they're not creating anything new, they're repurposing old stuff. Oh boy. We do not have Kench. I repeat, we do not have Kench. Definitely going to need some type of draw champion spell or something. So dealing with this is going to be an absolute nightmare. Kench coming in clutch here. Going to stun that. So I could play the thicker Jinx. Oh, I, I'm like, why is he getting bigger? It's because of the, uh, when he plays a skill, his units get bigger. He should be out of mana, though, and nothing else should have skills, so. So this is always going to be their strongest, so that is elusive for some reason. We, again, just block the thing with the highest damage. We're going to scale up like crazy. Perfect. Took a little bit of damage there, but we have health pots. We have things. Our absolute priority is to eat this. 
like not even like has to that thing kills all of our damage units yeah no i'm good i'm good on that stun two targets that's fine I could eat it, but then I lose my ramp. It's called gunplay, gun stupid. Kill a unit. So with that, we're gonna eat Jinx. And obviously the reason why I'm doing that is because next turn, once I eat something else, Jinx is gonna pop up. I'm gonna get four mana back for that. You wanna see some cool tricks, Bay? Sure. Just keep the little fighter off me. The little asshole off me. Alright, so we could play. Discard this guy because we don't need him. Stunning me. Take out one of his units. We could play. He's out of mana here, so I think it's a good time for me to um, eat my unit. We'll get more units and we're gonna get more spell mana back anyway. I should have chained. I could have, you know what? I could have ate both of the jinxes and I could have chained uh, this to it. The, uh, the get excited and took out another unit. I sometimes forget that I have that capability. So now we have a bunch of blockers here. He does not seem to care. Um, we could discard. You've been warned. Take out this. We haven't met yet. Take no damage at all. I like it. And then we eat this Jinx. Get even more mana. And that's GG. He does have stunts. Uh, kind of forcing me to... I don't have a healing mechanic right now, right? Yeah, it's just straight to the face. Gun to your head. What do you think, Fang? Nice. Good job. That was very pivotal. Should have just went straight to my juggler, but you know, we 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 fine with that. Lord Broadman with a blaze edge that duplicates is nuts. So if you have a rough start, hey, just screw it. <laughs> just just change what you have. I, I I guess that's the moral of the story, right? If it if it's a rough start, like as you see the two people that we fought, not even here, they could be later in the fight, and then maybe they're gonna be super hard. I feel like re-rolling here to get a better blue. Game start, forcing us to get to the Tom. I always have to take that, unfortunately. I don't like taking that. If you guys know I don't. When I'm summon, when you play a champion, summon an exact copy of it. So it was not gonna work too well for us. Let me see if there's anything good here. The super kick, get Kench's fat legs up in the air. So actually that's kind of dick. Yeah, there we go. Actually, yeah, that guy's gonna die too. He has like one uh, attack, whatever. Give me something to eat, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go to either that or the shop. I think this is just better. Come here, Omen Hawk. You don't have your, your crazy thing. You're, not, you're, you're in different territory, Hawkey. This is not where you're supposed to be. He still has, since, since it has the double thing, it is going to be a little bit nuts, right? It's going to be really important for me to have uh, units or to kill his units right outright. 
Okay, it's a one. It's a one two, not a two one. Okay, so it actually will stay out and have some fun. Oh, girls, just want to have fun. Oh, girls, just want to have fun. We have to kill these, so yeah. So stupid. So stupid. I maybe maybe I should have turn one play this so it when it was safe to play it. Cause now we're gonna go back to three mana. And I really don't have much for it. We will okay, we will be freezing the biggest dude that they got. The only thing that screws us if it is if he has the uh If he has the dreaded Omen Hawk and near he does not, so we could easily just block the the unit. Doesn't even want to attack because of that. I love it. Alright, Jinx getting bigger. We'll play the cheapest Kench we got. And like I said, starting off barrier, fantastic, because it... Oh, wait. Uh, It really doesn't matter, because I'll eat the next one next turn anyway. I should have ate this one because then I could actually play it. I can't play the bull nook thing. I bet you will. Uh, don't have quick attack here, so. Hmm. Could transfuse here. I think that the open is. Attack with it first. Alright, almost messed that up. Then we capture her. Get another copy of Jinx in hand. He has two big bodies. No overwhelm, no thing to pull. So he's big bodied. Uh, so we chain the slow thing first, which is this, and then we, this duplicates, right? Yeah, it duplicates. So that kills that. And then we're gonna get our mana back. Only four mana to be fair, so I don't need to rip this out the dead. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. You guys know time's gonna eat it. Sure is hot fucky. Shove is your right. It doesn't matter if you're getting tight. I'ma eat it, eat it, eat it. Tom Kench is undefeated. If you just forget like the first 10, 15 minutes of the video, he's <laughs> undefeated. All right, uh, I mean, we could definitely kill uh, that. Uh, I don't need no Avarosian. Avarosian, Rastapostian. Good fight, good night. Yes, sir. I mean, I could get this, what, to six attack? But he still blocks with that and I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did we just pass? Eat the, eat the mana up. Just give me that spell mana. Not out of the woods yet. Probably is. All right, we eat. There's no stuns. It seems like they don't even have like uh, frost bites within this deck. Play Jinx again. Uh, I 
I do want to take a strike here. We have the challenger, so we're fine. And the regen and everything that mama ever needed. Who gold, yeah? All right, boom. What else do we have here? I kind of want to... Damn it. I was actually hoping for the rally guy. So yeah, he's gonna die. Doesn't really matter, right? I don't even have to try to save it. Doesn't matter. All right, we're gonna pull sort of scrawny pants here, and then and then we're good. Heal our Nexus up. And I think we're going to heal. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Get Desire. And yeah, I'm just being an a-hole at this point. Don't care. You already let me in, okay? Oh, my God. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. All right, ebb and flow, box to push capture. Uh, yes, <laughs> easy decision. This is not Lissandra. Cost one less. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, I was gonna try to lose, but then I got high. Do 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 do. Get out of my deck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, grand finale. Kench versus Fizz. Fizz in RNG Ionia land. What the? F <laughs> where, where are we right now? Where are we? Oh my god. So, as you can see, didn't even see the other two. So, it is legitimately random. Random encounters, and they just smack this thing on it. Some of these fights make a lot of sense. Some of them don't make any sense at all. Like, I like it's just, it's very weird. I, I can only say, I'm just curious how you guys feel about it. So, if, at the very least, let's just talk really quickly. It means that you can just keep running yourself into it, right? It's not, a, it's, a, it's a monthly challenge kind of feel, but you can literally just kind of run as many champions or, or your best champion. And if you get bad RNG at the start, you can just kind of run it again, not knowing that it's going to just be something different every time but on the other aspect of it is is that when you're trying to play it and you're trying to make a strategy all of a sudden you get mana soul student and you get in ravenous flocked out the ass and the next thing you know you're playing against omen hawk and <laughs> maybe you don't you're not equipped for that or maybe it's the perfect fight for you uh, me having the frostbite completely or made the entire run relevant irrelevant so i actually would say maybe ash Ash might be a good thing here. If you can somewhat manage the taking one damage every round, I think Ash would be phenomenal just for the constant frostbiting. Same thing with Yasuo would probably do really good here because of just eliminating that one strong, super strong thing that they have every single turn is, is immaculate. So if you guys are struggling, that's my advice. So without further ado, I don't even understand what Fizz is going to do with double spell damage. Let's see. Can't start it off in the hand. Don't need that. I like the double health pot here. We should have maybe rerolled harder for like Lenny, but uh, we will be getting Kench. Boom! That's an easy first draw. That's another draw that we get for free. So amazing start here. So staunch defender Fizz. Everyone's worst nightmare. Does he have a zero cost card in hand? Is the question. But as you guys know, El Barrio, appreciate you, big dog. Hey, you had your chance. Well, well, we eating shark tonight, baby. Let's go. <laughs> We're eating shark. We're eating shark. He has another fizz at hand, or he just didn't want to take that damage. It's fine. What an amazing start. A way better Fizz. We can still block with that unit if we need to. 
Uh, we just we're spelled out right now. A lot of spells. Okay. I would love to eat Fizz. Should I go for it? Let's see that zero mana. Nope. Damn, we eating everything. Fizz is going to be zero cost as well. Ah. Oh. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so bad at the game. Why? Why me no pay attention? Just to play Fizz to have him die. There we go. But we're never punished. <laughs> we're never punished. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, light him up makes sense. Okay. You can attack with this. Um I could bait him into a block here. Bait successful. Bait successful, ladies and gentlemen. Bait successful. Ya buffoon! Alright, we won't mess up again. We're professionals. We're professionals. Sometimes you eat too much and the stomach bursts. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I'm Kazam. And since it is a capture spell, you don't really get too many captures um, with that either, which is kind of interesting. He's going to get reduced like crazy. And then, I don't know what's... Oh, I guess it's just like natural reduction. Um, this... Is that? That's just one. Yeah. Because I died. So I'm not as fat as I'm supposed to be. Come on, shark. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Come on. <laughs> what happened to baby shark? I didn't have enough board space for it. Jesus. Make it rain. Not your best idea, I'll admit that. Probably not your brightest. Alrighty. We're getting so much. Uh, eating the burbly. The shark. All we have is this guy. Um, I'm just torturing him at this point, right? Is there a card that I'm supposed to be worried about here? Like some hidden OP. No, he just said, just just end it, bro. <laughs> it's You're good. Nah, you screwed me up in the first fight. So, lazy or super ingenious genius, right? Because it's probably AI generated or something to that degree to take all their currently existing fights and then try to like warp it. The rock hopper fight was just insane. So it just, <laughs> like, <laughs> so. And again, it was just by them slowly adding a little bit of uh, juice into it, right? So there goes our gold vaults. We get the platinum vault in the other one. So it's just just a little bit of adding like a couple of items to, to cards. Samara, yes, thank God. So you definitely just want your six star units like, like badly. 
anything else besides that is just what the hell uh, eventually it's pretty good because i if you're like what am i thinking of like spicy toast because he i think he had all his characters like maxed out probably before they started doing constellations so all he does is get like his things for the other characters so that's actually probably good. maybe i should do that maybe i should what the hell is that um maybe i should just unlock all of my the other champions that aren't six stars so that when i get platinum chest like this it's going to be my six star or gold i think gold has uh dupe protection as well uh like something that does this i know platinum does so boom see now we got elise and we got orn but if i didn't have if i had those guys already maxed out it would not like physically couldn't give you that right so that's very interesting now that i'm thinking about that so now the next one is going to be a minor go yes are everyone's favorite so beating the 5.5 so let's see it's going to be galio and it's going to be he summons poro so he's going to have blockers perfected mana flow and then the same thing, the, the stats get doubled. They're just taking the Aesol thing and, and running with it. Aesol's definitely going to have to fight this. I might save Aesol for the big bad just to completely be a jerk about it because it just seemed like it'd be funny. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Give You guys give me suggestions. And, of course, I said it is time. We've wasted enough time in this run. Gold Requily time. Something that's going to hopefully help us win. And it can't be Yasuo's Blade because we bought it out of the shop. So screw you. And it is Secret Technique. When an ally gains stats from a spell, it gains twice that many instead. So there's a lot of cool ways to implicate that, I think. Uh, outside of the, I think the best one would be like, um, you know, the Harmony. If you have something with Harmony. Symphony Harmony, whatever the Hymn of Symphony, whatever. I don't know. Uh, so not the one that I wanted, but <laughs> it is one that we got. So getting closer and closer to uh, getting all of the epic relics. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.